jig can do for you. Not a huge fish, but decent size though. Why don't you call a nice little, I don't know, two, three pounder maybe, something like that. But, what I'm doing today is jigging. Something I love to do, and I always do it. I would pull a jig out before anything else. I'm having to rehook up my craw. If you're kind of curious on what the craw I use, or I mean the chunk I use, is Havoc. And it is the pit boss. Four inch, I believe. Yeah, four inch. Skeet Reese. Well, there's a bunch of different designs. But this is, I think a Bobby Lane does one like it too. But anyways, that is what I've been using today. Caught a few fish. Summer's being shy. They didn't want to be on the camera. I'm trying to conserve my battery. But... I've hung a few, I lost maybe three or four of them. But basically when you're jigging, when I started out bass fishing, I was basically crappie fish. That's all I did was, was crappie and brim fish. And then I had some buddies saying, oh, you gotta do it, you gotta get into it. And immediately I knew there was a bass jig. And so I was familiar with fishing crappie jigs, which of course, you know, they're totally different. They, don't look nothing alike they're I mean just totally different I mean this is a huge piece of lead and plastic and skirt and crappie jigs are pretty compact you either got two curly tail or straight tail but I'm just kind of show you here what I'm how I do it and what I've been doing to dig around and uh, make things happen but uh, a couple of pointers I could say is don't get too confused on what chunks to use. I mean, on what trailer is basically this is my trailer. Don't get too confused on that because fish really don't care. They just want something. I like to have something with a lot of appendages, you know, with a lot of tentacles that, that basically when this thing sits in the ground, it flares out real good. And so I like to get something with a lot of appendages but it's not necessary. Like I said, these bass, they're not rocket scientists, so I wouldn't go crazy about it. Another thing, that's the first and the second, but I would say get good on your pitching. And not so much pitching, but when this hits the water, I truly believe you want a softest impact as possible. I mean, you want this thing to be like an Olympic diver and just hit the water with, with very little noise, uh, very little motion, and because I truly believe that's going to help your hookup ratio. Is the quieter you can be. Jump behind us there, but as, as quiet as you can be. And so those are the two things. Is don't get too confused on what trailer to use and make a silent, presentation hit it and once it's there you can then you can go crazy with it you can jerk it you can tap it you can pop it you can you know just let it sit there I mean however you want to do it but um yeah throughout the video there's you know some of the fish I call you can kind of see how what I do but this uh, few seconds I'll take you know kind of go around this uh this little marina here it's at uh, condos and we'll go around it and uh, I like to fish with wood structures wood docks and lay down when I do jigs. I mean, but I'll fish this deep, shallow, uh, I'll swim it. I mean, it doesn't matter, but there is, it's a versatile bait. But let's jig around and see if we can't do something. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, when I'm usually either I'll cast it, I don't like to put it, some people say get it the same level as your reel, like this, but I don't like to do that. It's whatever you're comfortable with. I like to get it about a little bit up, and I take it and I just send it out. Oh, uh, another thing I kind of want to do, try to get this out of the way, this sea do ramp here. Um, so it's, it's on the bottom, I can feel on the bottom, so I'm just going to pop it back to me. It's, it's just barely moving off the bottom, it's basically skipping off the bottom. 
That's one way I'll fish it. Another way is I won't even let it. I won't even let it hit the bottom. I'll just keep popping it. Pop, reel, pop, reel, and then they'll either hit it on the drop or coming back up. Basically, it's looking like a creature just swimming around in there. And then, if you can see it, this is the softest presentation. I, I like to. Well, that was a little bit more of a splash, but still, it was quiet. You don't want a lot of noise. You want to get that thing in there as soft as possible and as close to the structure. So get used to practice pitching it. Practice pitching it in, ricocheting it off of things, getting it where you want it to be. We just pulled a nice one right out of there. Oh, another thing, get pra practice skipping it. I'm pretty close to this. It's going to be hard. There we go. Got it in there. Let's see if we can pull something else out. Nope. But basically, just pri the, the biggest thing also I would say on jigs is, is you, you just need confidence. I mean, the more confidence you have in something, the more you're going to catch stuff. I mean, if you truly believe you're going to catch a fish on whatever you're fishing, you're going to catch a fish on it. I mean, I don't care what it is. It could be a... I mean, it could be a crappie jig. You're bass fishing. And if you know you're going to catch a fish on it, you're going to catch a fish. So you got to have confidence. But it's super easy, though. Oh, I think something took it. Confidence, confidence, confidence. That's probably your best tool that you can have, is confidence. And usually when a fish hits this thing, you're usually gonna know. Either they'll watch the line, they'll take it, they'll run, Or they'll just sit there and hold it, and when you lift up, you'll fill them. And then you reel down, and you just, and then you set the hook. Catch these rock bass all day long if you wanted to on this jig. Nice little spotted bass. There was two fall on it. What you got him out there? Can't get that second one. There's a bigger one behind him.
Well, we're calling it quits. Oh, kind of mad at myself. Hung up. That was a nice, oh, that was at least probably seven pounder, I guess. But, say lovey, he wasn't there. Got him up right to the boat. I could see him, and he got off. I don't know what happened. I should have got my net. Anyways, can't catch them all. But we were jigging today. Had a lot of success. I love it. I love using it. In my arsenal, I would go to this before anything, honestly, because you can really pick apart territory, and it's just really hard for them bass to resist. Um, but for some reason, it was a, it was actually a, a kind of a soft bite today. It wasn't. They weren't just pounding it and so we in the video you'll see we lost several i mean they weren't big ones that we lost but we we did lose we did lose several bass um but that's the way it goes some days you can't catch them all and hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it subscribe have any questions let me know